figure man Mike Copeland. Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Scrap. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Hmm. Okay. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pens. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir. The turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I was only 17. I was going to school part time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. You ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, well, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. To, to see if it's vibrating at all. Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the 
closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Hmm. Well, these are the ones feeding the lines going south. I have any idea what's wrong with them. No, not a clue. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, boost me up. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, the junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. And the smell of it more than a couple. Ah, stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Light her up. Ready? Do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. The heart of the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. <sighs> I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Beef. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned them before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. Oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you. 
back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. Do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deep on. This? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. You remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was gonna bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> You thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself, like you always did. And you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Did you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Camp! Iron Mike has a treaty! Well, that was a really good idea. You wanna try that again? Out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes.
You think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick! Lisa. What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear when I came to. The, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. When I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike. Spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um... To farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this... by this old guy named Jack. And, uh, he ran the club. The, uh, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. I remember who's are talking about him. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Oh, shit. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? OK, but I want to show you something first. Oh, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, OK. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. If you want. I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life. With joining the MC, well... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. 
come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what, hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? <laughs> nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Lilies, just scavenging, you know. And I thought maybe the place wasn't picked over. Yeah, that's a day I'm never getting back. Oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, well, it's too bad, huh? Schizo. Oh, schizo, schizo. Speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> Uh, good choice. Yeah, good. Here you go. Okay, then. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. Hey, Deacon. Buzz, how you doing? All right, I got you. Okay. See you later, Deke. Like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. <sighs> I was ready to go back at it. <clears throat> Uh, 
something you need, Deke? I guess I'm just distracted. You here to buy something? I'll... Hey Ricky, you there? I'm uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey Deke, what's up? Boozer's uh, hell. He's, he's depressed or something. I'm talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So what are you gonna do? Well, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain and get his bike. Out. Are you, you going to cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Peeking out. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you, there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close, I almost got caught. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. You <laughs> I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't... Okay, okay. Stop! You are entering Either. a quarantined area. This is O'Brien. Are you there? Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Let me know when it's clear. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess... you have to be patient. Hmm? <laughs> well, not okay. I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on your chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you wanted to spy on the guy wearing a white space suit. Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Stop! Yeah, I don't want we'll to shoot! Oh, 
well. <laughs> that was a lot of goddamn freakers. Yeah. Subject exhibiting the morphology of stage two infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than. Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years. Scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on? Shit, I thought they were all... You know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late stage imaginations could stop. Can be friends now, can't we? Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. 
Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on? Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. No shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're... Almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? I thought about it. But yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, we think there might still be something very deep in their massively deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus. Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? It was, was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and no, I didn't catch your name. Turn on. 